always a massive pleasure to meet people in the music industry who are absolutely smashing it. Real people making real music. There's one guy who has worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. Delay Riley's in the house. Hey, what's up? Very good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Really, really good. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you today. Likewise. I've been having to listen to some of your stuff online recently right. and you're the man. <laughs> and you're thank still, you. But you're still thank so you. young and you've yeah. achieved so much already. How have you done it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess just like hard work, a lot of hard work, do you know what I mean? And I've been inspired by a lot of people. So I look up to a lot of like great artists like um, the Beyonce's and the Michael Jackson's and the Usher's. And I guess just trying to follow in those footsteps. And I've got great fans that support me. So thank you guys. And do you know what I mean? It's just like, a, I love doing music. So it's, it's not hard when you're doing something you love and you've got people that support you and I've got a great label, great team. So, you know, it's not, it's not that hard. So where did it all begin for you? Um, I say it began um, just about 20 seconds after I was conceived. You were out and you were on I was it. out, I was on <laughs> it, in the womb, making beats, <laughs> writing songs, you know, but um, yeah, man, I've always loved music, even from when, like, before I can remember, music's always been like a major, major part of, like, my life. And um, so, from forever, I've always been making music. I guess the kind of first moment that kind of people started to actually recognise me as a musician and as a songwriter and a singer was after like the Chipmunk stuff because um, yeah. I co-wrote Oopsie Daisy with Park and James and Chipmunk and that was and that was the first song I ever released and then um, that went number one and then I did another Boom. song with yeah Easy. so that's big straight there that's a big one right <laughs> there and um, yeah then I did Look For Me of course with Chipmunk which was like went number seven or something like that and so from there I got signed as an artist and as a songwriter and then now I'm here, you know what I mean, promoting my new single and just meeting new people and like letting new people know about me. So watch out for Tele Riley, I guess. Flying solo. <laughs> <laughs> I solo now, yes. And so yeah. I've done a lot, like from like, I don't know if you know, I did like the Usher tour. Yes. Like the most random like situation ever. But um, that was really cool. So I learned so much there. And just like um, watching Usher, it's, it's weird like seeing someone that's um, kind of you've grown up listening to and actually getting to meet him. I was taller than him as well. I thought he'd be taller than me, but Ash, Ash, Ash is massive, so thank you. That was a I great I should get experience. some heels next time he's down here to let Yeah. It's not on. <laughs> but yeah, Ash, Ash is great, man. That was cool. So your new single, Make You Mine, tell Make me about you that. Mine. Um, Make You Mine is, is a heartfelt song. It's really, it's one of my softer songs I've released. It's softer compared to the other songs I've released. And it's basically about me, really. I remember one time I was on a bus and this hot girl came on the bus. And I remember I was a bit, I'd just woken up, so I was a bit on the tired side, but normally I'm quite confident with like talking to like girls, but I just couldn't say anything. And like, you know when you have that moment when it's kind of like the, uh. the looking, but I'm, I just couldn't say anything. And I, I felt like such an idiot after, cause then she got off the train, like never saw her again. So it inspired me to write a song. So like the song, I kind of like the lyrics, uh, what I should have said and what I would like to say if I ever got the chance to see her again. She's probably probably married now. You should have put um, like one of those little <laughs> ads out in um, the Metro. I should have. <laughs> I really should have done that. That would have been better for me. But yeah, that, that's the that's the, the loser's guidelines. So, you know, when you want to talk to a girl, it's basically saying just go for it. Do you know what I mean? What do you have to lose really? So that's, that's kind of the inspiration behind the song. And I just did the video as well, shot it in Sweden, Wicked. which was great. So if you haven't seen the video. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yeah, it's well, cool. She'll tell you that it's a great it's video, good. do you know what I mean? Watch it, watch Definitely. it, watch it. Definitely. So yeah, it was a lot of fun, so. Okay, so working with Jessie J, what was that like? Um, do you know what, I didn't actually get to work Me. with her directly, yeah. but um, I've met her loads of times. I've like, supported her on like some of her shows and stuff. And um, it was kind of a weird one, because we, um, myself, Park and James and Invisible Men just did like the new single. And um, I did like some production on it. Like I started it with um, Parker. I went to his university in Southampton and um, we kind of was just working on some ideas. And at this point we were still unsigned. It was just us like making music. And um, he was playing like these drums and I just started going da, 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 like just messing around, Aww. you know what I mean? And then from there, I guess it got into Jessie and then she just wrote crazy songs, you know what I mean? She's got so much character and great voice and um, it just became a 
great song and it's on the album and she's releasing it now and actually did a cover of it as well. I don't know if you've seen I heard that. that too. Yeah. And yeah. so um, I had a lot of fun. I kind of changed the song to kind of like fit what Tele Riley is a bit more because I don't think I can I can't do Jesse J. Smooth but. vocals, man. Yeah. Smooth thank you very much. Bad. I tried, you know. Make it a bit more like that. You it's know? a bit like galaxy vocal. So if you like, Beautiful. if you like galaxy, you know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but what I wanted to know was, if you're in the house on your own, yeah, right, and no one else is around. <laughs> I'm just thinking, where is this gonna go? Oh lord. What is it that you get up to that you'd never do if someone else was it was around? For one, I'd have no clothes on. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't have no, let it all just hang 100% out. 100% naked. Just, Here and, I am. Um, I probably, I probably wouldn't shower. Really? Yeah, you know, you know songs that you, like, you, you just, to. just like Bruno Mars, the lazy songs, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do Hands anything. Hands down your pants. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, you haven't got any on. <laughs> exactly. So just be like, shh, bush. Oh. <laughs> no, but I just, you know, I love watching, catching up on like TV programs and listening to like new music, seeing what's out there. And just, yeah, man, I just like be a bum for a day. Lovely. I think, yeah, just some ice cream, popcorn, whatever's in the house, and just nick some stuff out of my mum's fridge and stuff, you know. Happy days. Naughty boy stuff. Naughty boy stuff? Yeah. I thought you were a good boy tonight. No, nah, sometimes I am, I am when I, when I need to be. You come across as being quite, <laughs> it's quite clean cut, but you've got oh. a bit, it's got a bit of a good design sitting Do you know here. what? I think when you listen to like Sergeant Smash, and like some of the previous stuff I've released, you, and um, you kind of get that there's a side of Tele that, you know, I think when when people get to meet that Tele, they'll like him. So on the next single as well, he, he kind of comes out a bit more. So. Right. Okay. So you've led me into this one. Then what's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? Oh man, the naughtiest thing. Really I've ever naughty done. thing. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, well, you have to give me a minute here. Okay. The naughtiest thing I've naughtiest ever done. Thing. That means there's quite a lot going on in his head right now. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, PG it. Yeah, think at the of a moment. PG one. <laughs> Apart from walking around the house with no clothes on and getting getting caught. Um, the naughtiest thing I've probably done is gone to like the um, corner shop in my robe. In your robe. Knowing that <laughs> there was no, you know, <laughs> underneath, and then. Um, turning around and being surprised by this old lady who just sneaked up on me and <laughs> forgetting that <laughs> and there was that weird moment of like <laughs> that's probably the naughtiest thing because I could have easily but I was kind of like so you flashed you flashed an yeah. old lady I did <laughs> I saw roses outside the shop and flowers I don't know what that meant. I don't know. Maybe it was delivery. Maybe she passed. <laughs> oh my God. Who knows? Obviously, where you're headed is really bright. We know that. Yes. And along the way, you pick up people who like you mm -hmm. and become a fan. What's the most extreme thing a fan's ever done for you? I'd say, um, get my initials tattooed on oh, her arm. Wow. I thought that was beautiful, but I was a bit like, whoa. Because oh. I didn't expect that, do you know what I mean? Because I still think I'm much, I'm working on getting to that. I thought that only happened to like artists that were like massive around the world, but apparently not. And um, yeah, that was really crazy. She's one of my biggest supporters. She knows who she is. Yeah. And so um, just that and just like, you know, I've got fans that like tweet like every single person that I following me. No. Like, all my like this is out now, pre-order this and all that. I think, do you know what I mean? That's amazing. It takes time, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I think it's really, I appreciate like when they support me like that and keep up, keep up. Yeah, it's good times. The thing is in the music industry, loyalty is so important anyway. Definitely. So, but when does loyalty verge on the edge of stalkering? <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I don't know. I, like, when I did, the, I did the end ups tour. Yeah. And like, I'm sure there was like a group of girls that was at, every show and every city and they looked different every time but i could tell like I different different you. wig and it was like, <laughs> it was like oh, we've never met before can i get your autograph and i was like <laughs> i know you from like yesterday and the day before but your hair was blonde 
And he was like, shoot sure, uh, changing that. Changing everything. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there was underage if, if there was an age limit, but something was going on. So I thought that was a bit like, because I'll be driving back to London and they'll be like, me. <laughs> <laughs> pull over. That it's kind of like, to you. woo. Do you know what I mean? But it's a lot of fun, man. And End Up's tour was great. That was like the first tour I did, so you can imagine it was really fun, really crazy. Yeah, I bet. Good times. Today, it's an absolute pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Now, at the end of all of our interviews, recently I've been doing thumbnails with people. Okay. As I said on Twitter to you, like, ready. yeah, I hope you've been <laughs> practicing, sharpening it up. So, <laughs> well, you've the, got the nails there, don't, don't, have, don't cut me. Okay, I went, and I've got right very hot pink. hands. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but just so you know, recently I'm undefeated. Okay, I've beaten yeah, Labyrinth. Yeah. Beating a few of like the urban scene's hottest people. Okay, well, you, you, as so, you know, I'm a humanoid. Yeah, under these pressure. Thumbs, these thumbs are nice and ready. Hope you're ready to get. Defeated. Let's go. So okay. I'll let you do the rhyme because people change the rhyme and I think it's really funny. There's a rhyme. Yeah, you have to go like. Oh, one, two, three, four, something, something, thumb war. Yeah, you can make that up. All you right. can do your own version. Ready? Okay. So one, two, three, four. Your thumb's gonna be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> You ready? Let's yeah, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> you're cheating, you're cheating. <laughs> I got two hands. Woo! Victory. <laughs> Undefeated. Cheating. Today, that was cheating. <laughs> you didn't say you didn't say any rules. I didn't say oh I didn't say any rules. That's rubbish. <laughs> it's been say? a pleasure. Likewise. You're seeing him here in his clothes. Victory. The next video will be a naked one. I think you should do a naturist one. Well, naked up to, up to the, the waist. No, and I won't be wearing any, you know, none of that. I think the fans would no like that. No more dead old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it here first. Make sure you check out www. Oh, hang on, there's a load of W's there. www.itsabigthing.com. Talay Riley. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Talay Riley, and make sure you check out itsabigthing.com. <laughs>